Israel's president and other world leaders are paying tribute to former U.S. Secretary of State, that's Henry Kissinger, who died yesterday. He was 100 years old. Kissinger led U.S. foreign policy through many critical moments in the 1970s and continued advising U.S. and foreign governments for the rest Fucking of his life. Fucking dead. People sought out his advice. He received the Nobel Peace Prize. Kissinger, these nuts. Him. Fucking hold up! What the fuck? What the fuck is that sound I'm hearing? I'm hearing a sound and it's tripping me the fuck out. What the fuck? What is that? Candy, are you taking a shit in the dome or something? What is that? Shelf. What the fuck are you doing? I was hearing some scratchy scratches. It was Henry's ghost. True. Fucking Kissinger was like, yo, let me for some reason uh, Cam Cambodia your moving boxes. All right, that's weird. So he's dead. Lived 100 years too long. Absolutely. Will this meeting take very long? He remained loyal to Nixon throughout the Watergate scandal and was one of the few inner circle members to escape virtually unscathed and served under President Ford. Kissinger's pragmatic policies, including support of dictatorships in Latin America, are darker parts of his legacy. Yet U.S. presidents continue to seek his counsel across nearly five decades. In an interview on Face the Nation in 2014, Kissinger argued for American leadership. Every part of the world is changing simultaneously, but it cannot change creatively without a major American contribution. Amid Literally just evil, bro. And he looks, he, he looks like, he looks like a, like a, like a, like a super, like a super villain. Does the Nobel Peace Prize have any legitimacy when it was awarded to Kissinger? Literally Kissinger? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. Literally. It's like, that's, oh yes, let me give, let me give the, 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 the Medal of Honor to a literal demon. Kissinger's own views were subject to change. In recent years, he controversially suggested Ukraine cede territory to Russia, only to then call for Ukraine to join NATO. This year, he visited a rising China one last time. Counseling I would like to just remind everyone that, like, Kissinger was a very... If there are any conspiracy theories I believe in anymore, which are very, very, very few, Kissinger is definitely at least a part of them. Like, there's something uniquely evil and destructive and death addicted uh, about Henry Kissinger. Uh, he, the, the, the atrocities that he had a direct hand in causing. Uh, you, it takes it takes looking at the Holocaust and being like, "Whoa, dude! Like, bro was really out here competing." He he looked at the Holocaust and was just like, "Yo, dude, I I'm at least gonna try to get that that silver medal." You know what I'm saying? Dude, dude was an evil fuck, dude. This dude, this dude was seriously like uh, uh, like a high priest of the of the blood injecting death cult. You know what I'm saying? Like like he. Holy shit. Here's my here's my direct reaction. Rest in piss, bozo. Henry Kissinger, fucking finally. Jeez. One really funny joke I heard about Kissinger was man really survived the Holocaust and decided to pay it forward. No shit. 
Yeah, beloved by America's ruling class. Like you, you, you even you, uh, even much of the U.S. media brand uh, Kissinger as a criminal because like it's one of those things, and I feel like it's slowly, way too slow. I feel like it's slowly happening with Israel. You know, where it's like it's just listen. You can only publicly stab uh, fifty babies in the face. Uh, where cameras are locked on you, you know, in four, five, six, eight K, you know, in point blank range, you know, and, and you can only go so far and being like, uh, it was, you had it coming. You, you can't just, you can't just, there's, a, <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. And Henry Kissinger is just that guy where it's like, dude, there's, he's making it really hard to make him look good. You know, um, so much murder, bro. So much. Better late than never. Yeah, even uh, Jacobin apparently, like, compiled together this whole, not eulogy, um, but, like, what's what's the fucking um, obituary? Like, this, like, like, they made a novel for this guy and was just like, hey, when this guy dies, we're gonna release so much shit on him. <laughs> Literally, we're just gonna, like, put out a fucking novel like hey check this out <laughs> check this out you, you know the guy that just died read about him you know crazy bro only uh what is it called only the good yeah the good die young yeah <laughs> literally he died at a hundred years old this dude was straight up palpatine bro power our collective relief shouldn't divert us from a deeper appraisal. In the end, Kissinger must be rejected for more than just his uniquely forthcoming embrace of atrocity in the name of American power. Ugh. As progressives and socialists, we must move beyond seeing Kissinger as a sordid prince of the imperialist shadows. A figure that can only be confronted uh, litigiously in the cold glare of an imaginary courtroom, his revolting coldness and his casual dismissal of its often genocidal results should not prevent us from seeing him as he was, an embodiment of official US policy. See, here's the thing, here's the thing. Kissinger wasn't a fascist. The extent of his politics was basically like, hey, America. Like, that's, that was it. That was I mean, a little bit of like China and Russia, but you know. It's mainly, you know, like, like, um, basically, how can we force natural selection to be as unnatural as possible? Um, this dude, he just, I, I just feel like his politics was literally like, let's prop up the U.S. to be literally the empire in Star Wars terms. Literally the empire. Let's take over the galaxy. Um, and, uh, you know, let's, let's fucking, let's dick down some third world countries you know Kissinger was a chauvinist other than that i'm not sure he he had much other belief yeah no no, no. it was it was literally just like not even the uk or or anything like like it was literally like america first america only really you know what i'm saying and we've seen the results of that you know it's uh pretty cringe once you've been to cambodia you'll never stop wanting to beat henry kissinger to death with your bare hands you will never again be able to open a newspaper and read about that treacherous prev prev prevaricating murderous scumbag sitting down in a nice for a nice chat with charlie rose or attending some black tie affair for a new glossy magazine without choking witness what henry did in cambodia the fruits of his genius for statesmanship and you will never understand why he's not sitting in the dock at The Hague next to Mil Milosevic. Uh, while Henry continues to nibble noi rounds and Ramaki at A-list parties, Cambodia, the neutral nation he secretly and illegally bombed, invaded, undermined, and then threw to the dogs is still trying to raise itself up on its one remaining leg. Anthony Bourdain. Listen, is it a crime? To like dig up his body and still beat him with my bare hands? Is that that's illegal, isn't it? That's a crime. I think that's a crime. So I'm not gonna do it. But to want to isn't. He once said, if not for the accident Yes, that that's funny you say that. We're gonna get to that in just a second. The ADL <laughs> 
Hi, ADL! What dumb shit do you have to say now? Henry Kissinger was a towering intellect diplomated practitioner who, not without controversy, <laughs> you don't say, helped shape American foreign policy with a lasting impact worldwide. Oh, it was an impact. A refugee from Nazi Germany and would totally go back in time and go back. And the first Jewish Secretary of State, he was unapologetic about his heritage and his embrace... Oh, wait, hold on, that's wrong. Unapologetic about his heritage and his embrace of the importance of American global power and democratic values. That's interesting. Um, so... During a meeting of the Washington Special Actions Group, he said... If it were not for the accident of my birth, I would be anti-Semitic. Any people who has been persecuted for 2,000 years must be doing something wrong. Bro! Yo, that's, um... That's, um... Wow. Literally, like, I... Wow. ADL, Henry Kissinger was a proud Jew who overcame anti-Semitic persecution to make history as an American statesman. Kissinger, I am anti-Semitic. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> God, that's fucking hilarious and sad and fucking terrifying. Kissinger, as, as much of a celebration as it is that he is dead, I would just like to point out the ADL I'm gonna drop a hot take that people aren't gonna like. Are full of clowns. Ugh. Full of clowns. Full of clowns. Greenblatt praises Musk after decolonization post. First, I'm gonna say, first of all, uh, this dude is like, he's like a, isn't, isn't this like the right wing guy? I don't, I don't know. I, re I respect both Elon Musk and John Greenblatt for many reasons. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Okay. This is an important and welcome move by Elon Musk. I appreciate uh, this leadership in fighting hate. In response, <laughs> as I said earlier this week, decolonization uh, and from the river to the sea and similar euphemisms necessarily imply genocide. No, they don't. Clear calls for extreme violence are against our terms of service and will result in suspension. Okay. Um, so, again, the ADL guy, okay, gives him his praises or whatever. But not too long ago, Elon had to put this out. This past week, there were hundreds of bogus media stories claiming that I am anti-Semitic. Nothing could be further from the truth. I wish only for the best for humanity and a prosperous and exciting future for all. Okay, um, this is interesting because he put this post, tweet, whatever, he put this out there because he, there, there was a Nazi that was basically like, you know, Jews have been talking about how, uh, you know, white people are the worst or they're evil or whatever and white people should be gotten rid of. Uh, why should I uh, care about what Jews have to think or something like that? It was, it was some Nazi shit. And he basically was like, you know, um, you, you said the absolute truth. And then a bunch of advertisers were like, yep, I'm out, I'm out. And they, they pulled their advertising. And he got really, uh, really, 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 uh, really mad. Really big mad about it. Um, now, I have to refresh your memory real quick, okay? Greenblatt, even, even with this, even with this, okay? That's not even the worst of it. You might have to go back a little bit further. Greenblatt, the ADL guy, was praising Elon Musk for fighting hate, right? And the ADL has been propping up Henry Kissinger like he's like he's a fucking gangster, right? But if we remember from a couple months ago, ban the ADL was a hashtag. Oh boy. First of all, this just happened apparently. Elon Musk's entire point, the one uh, that led to all the smears of anti-Semitism in the uh, advertiser exodus is that the ADL helped perpetuate this moronic oppressor versus oppressed cult ideology that has brain rods so many otherwise potentially intelligent people and turned them into psychopaths, which is a hell of a sentence to say. And now are having to face the consequences of it, uh, that these same morons now see them as the oppressors and side with terrorists murdering them. That's not anti-Semitism, it's actually helpful advice. To stop or whatever it's uh, that's that's dumb the cultural cancer 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 
that so many well-intentioned people help create is now spiraling out of their control and turning on them, and really turning on humanity. That is the enemy, not quote-unquote white people, okay? And then they pull up the ADL's definition of what racism is, okay? The marginalization and or oppression of people of color based on a socially constructed racial hierarchy that privileges white people. This is true. Yes. This is what racism is. If you want to talk about prejudice, that's an entirely different story. There are people who are absolutely prejudiced against white people. You can be prejudiced against any group of people, okay? That's prejudice, all right? There are two different kinds of racism. There's prejudice and there's racism, okay? That whole prejudice plus, pla blah, 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 blah. prejudice plus power equals racism thing. Yeah. That, that's not a lie. You got Elon, exactly. It was incredibly racist for ADL to say that only white people can be racist. It's about the, it's about the fucking hierarchy, bro. It's about the hierarchy of society, man. If it was black people that was at the top of the social hierarchy, then the marginalization and or oppression of uh, people who aren't black based on a socially constructed racial hierarchy that privileges black people, that would be racism, right? But that's not the case. It's the fact that white people are at the top of the fucking social hierarchy. It's about power, exactly. It, that's exactly right, Ghost of Avalon. A couple months back, hashtag ban the ADL was a huge thing. Now, I, I'm not gonna really say all that much. I'm just gonna kind of show you. I'm just gonna kind of show you, okay? Testament. The two young people here can go by paying $15 to some local Jew in his bookstore and buy it in the form of Mein Kampf. And we are also lucky to see all these terrific films that these people made during that particular time. As you can see, there's SS and swastikas and shit in this chat right here. I'm getting the feeling that this is probably like on kick or something, probably. Um, yeah, literally a Nazi streamer right here uh, in response to what you know, another screenshot of what we just watched this chat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jake Shields, uh, this fucking clown, uh, former UFC slash MMA fighter, five-time world champion, uh, turned Nazi. Not only does the ADL control speech on social media, they also work closely with the FBI to slant statistics and go after white people. White people have been cowards for uh, far too long. That's the wrong two. And it's past time we stand up against racists uh, ban the ADL. They're doing the thing. They're, they're doing, they're doing the whole fucking great replacement theory shit. The Nazism gives them a major, a massive debuff. I could take them. I bet. And wokeness puts out some bullshit. Keith Woods, uh, definitely a Nazi. The ADL is an anti-white hate group that conspired to cost you billions in advertising revenue because you promised free speech. People are still banned for political speech while the ADL has a platform to try and sync the company. Time to ban the ADL. Again, this is back in at the end of August. The ADL is a hate factory. Israel is a really awesome country. I mean, look at that epic wall they built to protect their country. They have a really smart immigration policy too. And they pretty much only let Jews marry other Jews, thus ensuring their continued survival. They protect their people, their culture, their identity. It's awesome. What if we did that too? You some fucking Nazi? Which, uh, maybe that makes all of you Nazis. Keith Woods, uh, again, Nazi. The ADL classifies 17% of the numbers between one and 100, or between zero and 100 as hate symbols. Nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 21, 23, 28, 33, 38, 43, 52, 83, 88, and 90. Uh, yeah, cause you guys, don't just come out and say the shit. So you gotta talk in subliminal fucking li lingo and shit. You gotta have a subliminal lexicon that you put out there on your fucking 4chan forums and shit. And we gotta keep track of that shit, okay? And then you come back and you're like, Oh, they're, 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 they're saying numbers are hate symbols? Pepe? Okay sign? Oh, these guys are silly. But you guys are doing it. So like, shut the fuck up. Heil Christ, yes, that's what it is. 83 is apparently a white supremacist numeric symbol that stands for Heil Christ or Hail Christ, um, HC, typically used by adherents of the racist and anti-Semitic religious sect known as Christian identity. Um, which, I mean, considering that like white supremacists <laughs> 
tend to be conservative and most conservatives tend to be Christian and most Christians tend to be really evangelical about it, you know, and most evangelicals support Christian nationalism. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah, so uh, there's that. I'm personally not a Christian, but according to the ADL, worshiping Christ makes you a white supremacist. First of all, can you please learn how to spell? Second of all, uh, yeah, um, yes. <laughs> no, not really. But like in America, uh, there's a pretty good chance. <laughs> Oh my god. The ADO threatened Elon Musk with an advertiser boycott if it wasn't banned from a criticism of Judaism. They think we don't have free speech to criticize Judaism in Israel. Ban the ADL. Oh boy. The ADL is the organization most responsible for silencing free speech on the internet today. But not everyone knows its strange origin story. If you want to get into that, I guess go for it if you want, but uh, apparently there's some, uh, there, there's, there's something to do with some, uh, Leo guy, what was it, uh, fuck, well, well, it was it's some, some guy, uh, some guy, ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so we're just gonna read this real quick. Leo Frank is primarily notable for his conviction in 1913 of the murder of 13-year-old employee uh, Mary Fagan in Atlanta, Georgia, although the general consensus among modern historians is that he was wrongfully convicted, unlike Nazis on Twitter. Uh, Frank's trial conviction and appeals attracted national attention, his kidnapping from prison and lynching two years later, that's right, you heard that right, uh, in response to the uh, commutation of his death sentence became the focus of social, regional, political, and racial concerns, particularly regarding anti-Semitism and racism. Modern researchers agree, generally, that Frank was wrongfully convicted and Jim Conley was likely the actual murderer. In May of 1913, Frank was indicted on a charge of murder and the case opened at Fulton County Superior Court July 28th. Um, the prosecution relied heavily on the testimony of Conley, who described himself as an accomplice in the aftermath of the murder, and who the defense at the trial argued was, in fact, the perpetrator of the murder. Wow. A guilty verdict was announced on August 25th. Uh, Frank and his lawyers made a series of unsuccessful appeals. Their final appeal to the Supreme Court failed. April 1915, considering arguments from both sides as well as evidence not available at trial. Governor John M. Slayton commuted Frank's sentence from capital punishment to life imprisonment. The case attracted national press attention and many reporters deemed the conviction a travesty. Within Georgia, this outside criticism fueled anti-Semitism and hatred towards Frank. On August 16th, 1915, he was kidnapped from prison by a group of armed men who then lynched him at Marietta, Mary Fagan's hometown the next morning. The new governor vowed to punish the lynchers who included prominent Marietta citizens, but nobody was charged. In 1986, the Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles issued a pardon in recognition of the state's failures, including to protect Frank and preserve his opportunity to appeal, but took no stance on Frank's guilt or innocence. The case inspired books, movies, a play, a musical, and a TV miniseries. The African American press condemned the lynching, but many African Americans also opposed Frank and his supporters over what historian Nancy McLean described as a virulently racist characterization of Jim Conley, who was black. His case spurred the creation of the Anti Defamation League and the resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, this guy apparently started Ban the ADL. And uh, Elon Musk totally like pushed it. Free speech is when Kessler energy, right? The ADL was established in 1913 to defend the honor of Leo Frank, a Jewish businessman in Atlanta accused of the rape and murder of Mary Fagan, a 13 year old girl. So apparently, apparently that's the origin of the ADL. I do not believe it. Origin of the ADL. So, 
basically they were like hey we want to kill this guy and if you don't let us then you're pro pedophilia and um the adl i guess started from a place of like no <laughs> no he got life in prison i'm gonna drop a hot take that people aren't gonna like when a guy who rapes and murders a child uh gets life in prison i'm gonna think to myself okay well at least you know there's that end of the story you pretty much you know do that but i'm getting the feeling that because he was jewish um they felt like they could just you know uh lynch him and keith woods is apparently all about that idio referred to kyle rittenhouse as a murderer and a right-wing extremist yeah, yeah he was he was it was just constant it was constant jake shields again banned the adl it was one thing after another we opened a center in silicon valley back in 2017 and the woman who runs it she's next facebook executive i have software engineers and data scientists working at ADL. We're monitoring all this stuff and we're working with all the platforms, by the way, Google and YouTube and Meta and Twitter and Reddit and Steam and Amazon, all these companies from like Apple to Zoom. We work with all of them, okay? That's relevant because we've been working with Twitter now for real, since it was founded. We worked with the old regime, working with the new regime. So literally. So literally there's nothing at all wrong with this clip. I find it hilarious that they think they could just they could put Ye's fucking who do you think created can cancel culture fucking tweet right here and try to make it more than it is when it's just like, hey, like when there's like nonstop slurs being dropped, that's when we come in. But apparently that that that's evidence of like some bigger like zionist conspiracy uh or whatever or rather he'll call it zionist but he means jewish trying to make it like as if they're explicitly anti-white and that they're they've infiltrated black lives matter hence the white lives matter california bullshit right here you can announce your hatred for whites before killing six on live television i have no idea what they're talking about the ADL won't label you an extremist, but if you... Oh, it must be talking about this person. But if you advocate for white well-being, they'll dox you and close your bank accounts. Um, doubt that's the end of the story. Favorite tactic is financially blackmailing social media companies into removing free speech on their platforms. They even orchestrated an advertiser boycott uh, of Tucker Carlson. Yada, yada, yada. Despite what the ADL wants you to believe, it is okay to be white, which like literally <laughs> only Nazis say this shit. Little reminder real quick. Um, nobody says it's not okay to be white. Everybody agrees on this. Everybody thinks it's okay to be white. But the only ones who are obsessively like, oh, they think it's not okay to be white are people who only say it's okay to be you know what i'm saying it's only these people who are it's okay to be white it's okay and everyone it's kind of like <clears throat> it's kind of like being like you know one person at the table is like my favorite snack is a nutrigrain bar another person is like my favorite snack is is a, a chewy granola bar another person is like my favorite snack is a is a snickers bar and then you got this last person that's just like oh I, I, I like candy canes. It's okay to like candy canes. It's okay. Whoa, whoa, no one said it's not okay to not like candy canes. It's okay to like candy canes. I guess literally, but like replace Nazi with candy. When you Google it's okay to be white, the ADL has number one ranking on Google stating it's a hate slogan. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Apparently they're anti-Christian. Ban the ADL has been trending for several hours, but none of these big Twitter accounts have even acknowledged it, much less tweeted it. Why do you think that is? And it's like, you literally have like all of the worst fucking people. Charlie Kirk, Jack Posobiec, DC Drano. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. Jordan Peterson, Brandon Straka, uh, Kenakoa the Great, Eon, Ian Miles Chong, Hodge Twins, can't Clandis Owens, Clay Travis, Starbuck, Starbuck? Uh, Michael Knowles, 
Oh, Robbie Starbuck. Gotcha, gotcha. You you had all these people, one after another, tweeting this shit. National policy. We must secure the existence of Jewish people in the future for Jewish children. National policy. We must secure the existence of our people in the future for white children. Hate speech. Yes! Yeah, okay. All right. Do I really need to say any more? Nick Fuentes talks about ban the ADL hashtag and briefly mentions a certain video game, Starfield. Oh, Jesus Christ. About this new hashtag, which is taken over Twitter. And it's so awesome. And I have to congratulate everybody that's been involved in it. Uh, Keith Woods, Jake Shields, Joel Davis, Harrison Smith. Who else did I say on Twitter? I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, and Lucas, Lucas Gage. Special shout out to all those guys and everybody else that's been pushing this. But there's a huge moment happening right now on Twitter and you need to participate. If you have a Twitter, get it up. And if you don't have a Twitter, make one right now. Make one while I'm saying this right now because I'm going to ask you to go on Twitter and join in on this. But all day today, there has been a hashtag going around against the ADL. It was in response to a tweet by the president of the ADL, Jonathan Greenblatt, where he alluded to the fact that he has had a meeting with the new CEO of X or Twitter which implies that there will be more censorship and more control by these kinds of activist groups of the platform. And I believe it's in response to this development, in addition to everything else that's been going on, that now the hashtag ban the ADL has taken over the platform. It's at over 40,000 tweets. 40,000 people have tweeted hashtag ban the ADL. Number one trending all day. It did get beat out by some video game uh, towards the middle of the day, but it's dominant on Twitter right now. You got to get on your account. If you don't have one, make one and go and put out the hashtag ban the ADL. We'll talk. I'm going to drop a hot take that people aren't going to like. A hot take. If Nick the Nazi Fuentes agrees with you, you might be a white supremacist. Ryan Dawson, this guy. Apparently, uh, they put out this um, anti-Zionism league. Jesus Christ. Uh, wow. Same guy. Um, same guy. Um... But not a Nazi! Not a Nazi, guys. He's not a Nazi, I promise. He's totally not a Nazi. Oh, boy. Ban the ADL. Still going. Um, talking about how the Biden administration is full of Jews, I guess, apparently. Uh, totally not implying anything. They're not implying a single thing. There, there, there's no implication here or anything like that. You know, it's just... Just asking questions, guys. Just asking questions. And they even... <laughs> They even go after fucking Rhonda Santis, uh, apparently saying that he's bought out uh, by them. Since Ban the ADL is trending, again, this is the last day of August, people may be uncomfortable as it is an explicitly Jewish organization and anti-Semitism is such a lightning rod. Don't worry, we can learn how to discuss this delicate issue by taking instruction from the ADL itself by just changing one little word. Oh boy. From InfoWars. Oh boy, I can only imagine what crazy shit is about to be said. And I think maybe one way to talk about all of this, uh, we can actually learn from things like the ADL. Uh, since they're so considerate in teaching us white people how to deal with, uh, you know, people calling us, uh, horrifically evil and saying white people are the the source of all bad things in the world it's um it's hard for us white people to to learn to be okay with this uh, but they're teaching us luckily and so maybe they can um teach themselves all of this right maybe we can maybe we can go to uh the adl and uh help them to learn about about things and we'll, we'll just do this by by changing the term white to jewish and just see what they uh what um advice they they have for oh, us here Jesus talk about Christ. structural racism and jewish privilege jewish privilege the unearned and often unrecognized advantages benefits or rights conferred upon people in a dominant group is an important concept when talking about racism the flip side of uh, jewish privilege is structural racism which oppresses and marginalizes people of uh, color 
through societal institutions like so instead of people of color i guess we'll just say non-jews here because we're just trying we're trying to use their their beautiful language that they um are so kind to teach us and and hope here's an idea maybe if you don't want to be called evil stop maybe stop being fucking evil holy shit yo an impressive cock nice hopefully it can it can help inform them how to how to deal with this as well uh, like education, law enforcement, voting, employment, and other systems, reflecting upon what Jewish privilege means helps students understand how some people receive unearned privilege while others are disadvantaged based on their religion. It's critical that teachers do their own individual I, I find it interesting how he was like based on their religion instead of ethnicity slash religion, you know, because like it's not just a, Judaism is the religion, but being Jewish doesn't. Jesus Christ. Collection and and possess the background and skills to discuss Jewish privilege and structural Judaism, so it doesn't backfire or lead to defensiveness when discussing it with students. Think carefully about your comfort with the topic and do not address it unless you feel comfortable and skilled in doing so. Considering using a video like uh, MTV's documentary film Jewish People to facilitate the discussion, of course that that doesn't exist because how could it? Uh, so you want to encourage empathy. So compassion and empathy go a long way in helping um, kids understand uh, race and Judaism. So uh, you want to provide student, uh, uh, provide opportunities for uh, Jews to learn and grow uh, as, as this criticism is leveled on them. Wow. And then we also have like wannabe Infowars, wannabe Alex Jones, uh, fucking Jimmy Dore. Mossad could have staged a false flag attack on the U.S. Uh, basically suggesting that maybe Jews were behind 9-11. Uh, he also, uh, parrots the whole, like, dancing Israelis conspiracy theory, which if you're not familiar with, basically, there's some video, uh, on 9-11, um, uh, of some presumably Israeli people that were dancing when the towers got hit and like that's apparently like the center of some conspiracy theory where it's like okay well then israel must be behind it or the jews must be behind it or something it's fucking dumb the adl has been exposed many times the latest expose revealed how they act how they're actively muzzling people who simply disagree with their anti-white slash anti-christian ideology ensuring that those users are shunned from me from media. Okay, now this is this this specifically is interesting. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Okay, apparently they've been exposed. So I am the director of development. Oh. Yeah, and I'm the community manager for Arizona. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, apparently we got a direct with the uh, the director and the Arizona community manager both working for the ADL. I've tried to do this segment regarding uh, hashtag ban the ADL uh, ever since this all first came out, but I couldn't really find uh, an appropriate time to really talk about this. And then Henry Kissinger died, and uh, and then Elon Musk is agreeing with Nazis Nazi posting, um, and then the ADL was like, hey, Elon, you're a great ally to us. All this shit went down, and I was like, yo, perfect. We can talk about ban the ADL that happened. Which is crazy that the ADL thinks that Elon is based somehow. I remember researching for this segment. Neither of these ladies are with the ADL. That's, they're not actually real. They're not real. They're not on any staff website. They're not on any board, nothing. Like these, these two people, I have nothing to do with the ADL. At least, at least I didn't see a picture or a name that corresponds with the way these two ladies look or their names. I am the director of development. Oh. Yeah, and I'm the community manager for Arizona. Gotcha. So, right, you can't people off. Yeah, Courtney Kravitz. Um, th th there is no Courtney Kravitz that I saw on the ADL website or or anything. And then Sarah Cater. Yeah, I didn't see this i didn't see her at all either so it's like the so-called undercover interview with planned parenthood that claimed they sell baby corpses yeah basically and that, uh, uh, that's why like i feel like every single time that like something like this comes out where it's like project veritas-esque 
exposés and shit, you know, where it's like, we met up with the people who work for this organization, and it turns out they uh, are on a strict diet of baby foreskin. It's like, no, you're not. None of this shit is fucking real. Swear to God, dude. Like, they're not, they're not with the ADL. They're not. You can go ahead and Google it if you want. So I'm the number one most effective, biggest dissident in America politically. I'm the number one target. The ADL listed five people that they said Elon could not bring back to Twitter. David Duke, me, Andrew Tate, Alex Jones, <clears throat> and uh, Donald Trump, I think was the fifth one. Donald Trump got brought back. Andrew Tate got brought back. Alex Jones, they say no because of Sandy Hook. David Duke... He's old. I don't even know if he bothered to appeal. And then it's me. Nobody that we signed to, I just worded like that. You know what I mean. You know what I like about this? Mm. The, the Jewish media was pushing the narrative off the white live white lives matter t-shirt that i didn't love black people and i That's came what it back came off. and i came back and i was like no fuck the jewish media and everybody's like what wait what <laughs> right now we're supposed to be living and breathing and the yay doesn't like black people because he wears a red hat yay doesn't yeah, like no, black people because he and i was <laughs> like nah fuck that and god was like fuck that <laughs> God was like, fuck that, and apparently, apparently. Oh, God. And God was like, Jewish. <laughs> but no. Right. You just get used to getting screwed by the Jewish media. And I'm saying, y'all done poked the bear too fucking long. When I wore the White Lives Matter tee, they, I had four SoFi Stadium shows. They canceled my shows. I said, it's up. Baby mama white and her life matters, Meek Mills. My baby mama white and her life matter. I did a fucking t-shirt, Meek Mills. We made the White Lives Matter tees, mm. and then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEF CON tweet, now nah, he ain't he ain't releasing the tee. Mm. Cause he's Jewish. <laughs> And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm making. Last but not least, uh, hashtag ban the ADL. I am not sure the ADL is helping at this point. I think people are tired of green, black, the hats, and the J's. In general. And all of their tyrannical... I don't even want to say the word. If it's that big of a deal, move to Israel, assholes. People wondering who's been screwing with them for centuries. The ADL. Worldwide anti-Semitism. I, I want to remind you again, Elon helped push this when this first initially went down. He was in support. There were people he was replying to where he was like, you know, uh, yeah, the ADL, they're so bad. You know, they say this and that. Like, 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 dude, th this was just the other day. Let's go back to this. Yeah, this right here. It was incredibly racist for ADL to say that only white people can be racist. Like, like he's still talking shit about the ADL, dude. And as much as I think the ADL are clowns that have no integrity, um, you know, because again, they propped up Henry Kissinger, an absolute, like, 99% Hitler particle having piece of shit. And then, like, literally from here and on, all of these tabs are all examples of hashtag ban the ADO when that was going down on Twitter? Like, yo, like, what are you doing? So there's that.